Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio, so today I am showing you Persimian. But I thought, you know what, let's show it in the context of a live stream. So I'm going to show you the list first of all. I'm going to show you some games that we played during my live stream over at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. So grab yourselves a nice cold beverage and join in the fun. Good evening or good night. My name's Ross and I was always told I had a voice radio and it's Sunday afternoon and my wife's at work. So I thought, you know what? Let's stream some Pokemon trading card game online. But you know what? We're going to start with Persimian. And the reason is very simple. I was doing a stream of Splatoon 2 yesterday, a, a little extra stream. There's going to be a highlight reel of that going up on the YouTube channel very shortly indeed, probably tomorrow. And somebody said, hey Ross, why don't you play around with Jesper Eriksson's North American Internationals Persimian list? And I thought, you know what, that sounds like a great idea. Now Jesper and his team Limitless have posted the deck up online, so here's the deck. This is the one we're going to be playing with. We're going to play a whole bunch of games with this. Now, last Sunday, we were averaging over 100 people in the stream. That was lovely. On Thursday evening, we were averaging over 100 people in the stream. That was lovely. So, I see no reason why we shouldn't be averaging 100 people in the stream today. I've chucked it out over Twitter, over Facebook. I've done my usual YouTube video, but... As always, if you know anyone that should be interested in the stream, then tweet it out, pop it on your Facebook, just send someone a message. It will be fun. So, get people over here. Quad Delibird, right, I'll tell you what, Super Samara Kip. Send me a tweet at the Wossy. Include a picture of a Quad Delibird deck list. Maybe we'll get to it today, maybe we'll get to it later on in the week. Hello to all you lovely people in the stream. Hello... Tetradomus9, hello Trolley234J, hello CPT Lexa, Christian93478, are those cats? They look like cats. Sorry, the, the chat is a very small window on my iPad right now. So, let's get rolling, let's play some games with Persimian. Now, we are very close to having a thousand followers on Twitch. I believe we are at... About 990 at the moment, I think we need. Oh, tournaments. No, we're going to play a few little testing games first of all, but we are definitely going to get into some tournaments. And we only need about 10 more followers to hit 1,000, so fingers crossed. And I know we had a little bit of lag in the stream on Thursday. Ultimative Player TV, welcome to the stream. But weirdly, yesterday when we were streaming Splatoon 2, a presumably much more intense game, we didn't have any lag whatsoever, which is strange. Jesper Eriksson, Denmark all the way. I'm going to be seeing Jesper Eriksson next weekend. Or this, yeah, in about a week's time, his brother's getting married. I'm going to the wedding. So I will be seeing Jesper and the whole Eriksson clan at the weekend. It will be lovely. How is Persimian going to be affected by the rotation? Not a huge amount, to be perfectly honest. I see it being a very good deck. Not to mention that Raichu looks like a very good deck. Um, and Darkrai looks like it's... Ooh. Darkrai looks like it's going to be a very good deck. And Zoroark looks like it's going to be a very good deck. So you know what? I think Persimian could be a really good deck going forward and it really doesn't lose very much all it really loses is kind of like versus seeker now it looks like we're playing against a volcanian deck with starmy which we do see in volcanian decks at the moment no skyfield i'm going to be honest jesper's list here plays a single skyfield i'm tempted to cut it to be perfectly honest, I don't think you need Skyfield in this deck. What I think you need is Brooklet Hill. Brooklet Hill to search out those Persimian. Because let's say you're playing a Rescue Stretcher. You play a Rescue Stretcher, you can grab one Persimian from your discard or put three in your deck. But if you're playing a Brooklet Hill, then you can grab one Persimian, you can shuffle them all back into your deck, and then you can use Brooklet Hill to grab them all. It really is quite funky. So, now I don't, generally speaking, hello, Muckle Jordan. Generally speaking, the, we're not seeing Enhanced Hammer 
oh, I kind of want Town Map, I kind of want Nest Ball, but you know what, Brooklet Hill, no, we're going to go Nest Ball, because Brooklet Hill might be more use a bit later on in the game. We might have to Tapu Lele for an N here, which I don't really want to do, but I don't see much option at this stage. Hey-ho. So, ooh, I don't really want to do this, but we don't have a huge amount of choice. We've got to keep some of these resources. The good news is the Octillery isn't prized. The bad news is the Tapu Lele is, so we're not getting a supporter. It's not the end of the world, because next turn, we've got Octillery. And the other thing we can do is we can play Puzzle of Time. Ah, oh, lovely. We hit an energy with the energy lotto as well. I don't think my opponent's playing Enhanced Hammer. These decks generally don't, so I feel quite comfortable going and getting that. Now, assuming my opponent doesn't get a KO on my Remoraid, it would take two Steam Ups, a Fire Energy, and having an Active. Then, oh, and that's a really good we up for the Nest Ball rather than Brooklyn Hill there. Assuming that doesn't happen... Then next turn, we can just go ahead with Octillery, and then we can even use my Puzzle of Time here to make sure we put a supporter at the top of my deck so we can grab it straight out with Octillery. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Hello, the Wossy! I'm going to be honest, I've started building up Twitch a little bit too much with PTCG Radio. I think if I was going to go for the Wossy, I probably should have done from the beginning. So I think at this stage, I can probably forgive you for taking the Wossy name. How does BS affect it? Burning Shadows? I don't think Burning Shadows does very much to be... Oh, oh, one steam up. Double colourless would get a KO here. I didn't think he would be playing double colourless, but he doesn't get it. That's pretty good. I think it's a great call after rotation. It's going to be one of the fastest decks. Okay, we're looking pretty here. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we even top deck the escape rope. How sweet is that? So we're even going to be doing a bit of damage here with team play. Now, if we could find a field blower, that would be sweet. Puzzle of time. Oh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to do it. I really don't want to. Okay. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be drawing into all of these. The reason I played the puzzle of time wasn't really to rearrange them. It's because we have nothing and we're going to abyssal hand and getting three rather than four would be great. The annoying thing is, and this shows I'm not familiar with this deck yet, what I really, really should have done that turn was I should have used Brooklet Hill before I did that. Because had I used Brooklet Hill, I wouldn't have drawn into Persimian. And I would have drawn one extra card. Hello, Samus009. So very silly on my part. Let's have a look at me prizes here. Nothing particularly terrible. Me Lele, but it's not the end of the world. And now we've got supporters rolling. So we can just here go for a nice team play for 160 damage. 130 damage, sorry. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. So we did 30 for each of the bench, plus 10 base, plus the Fury Belt. That Volcanian probably isn't leaving anytime soon. So I'm playing two Lysander. At some point in the future, I can grab it back with a Lysander and KO. Trolley, one, two, three, four, J. Planning on going to PTCG events next season. Already got a Lele. Get the Lele now. Lele is one of those cards like Shaman. I do not envisage Tapu Lele going down in price. With the rotation, I only envisage him going up in price. Ah, I apparently have a misspelling on the description of the YouTube video. I do indeed, so let's... Change that slightly. Alrighty then. Thank you very much to the shout out there. So we are building up. We've got 54 people in the first 10 minutes. I want to get to 100. That's what we had last time. I think the record is about 150 that we had on Thursday. So I'd like to do that. I just use this account to keep track when you go live. I did feel a bit bad for stealing your name. It wouldn't cause me any problems, sir. I forgive you entirely. It is all good. There is absolutely no animosity. Now, Shell Trap kind of sucks for me here. Um, 
because taking eight damage cat no is it eight or six yeah will actually get me the ko so shell trap is a the maths on shell trap here is truly terrible but ideally here what we're going to actually do is attack with a different one or and what we really want is a lysander but we can't play a lysander right now uh, we can't even use Octillery. We've got too many cards in hand. So we might have to say goodbye to the Persimian here. Ooh, ooh, this is lovely. So, what we can do... Oh, no, because Mew, get, Mew gets KO'd anyway, so I don't think that's the best thing to do. Ugh, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a Field Blower, and we're going to get rid of these two cards and that will work nicely we are then going to play an ultra ball because we don't need brooklet hill anymore now the good news is we can once we get the persimian back in the deck we can use brooklet hill to get them all back again so that's pretty good we're actually not going to grab a mew because we don't need one right now what we're going to do is we're going to try and it's asking a lot but we're going to try for double puzzle of time yeah, that was asking way too much. Although we might actually do it, because if we could hit an escape rope here, an escape rope would be absolutely amazing. Can we hit it off the trainer's mail? We can't, but we do hit a rescue stretcher. We also hit a versus seeker. Yeah, but we're going to need rescue stretcher to get the Persimian back. So... Let's just use that for now, and it's really not the end of the world. I know we're having to give up a KO here, but I don't feel too bad about it. So, what we're going to do here, I know we're giving up a prize, and that sucks, alright? Yeah, it happens. This is what happens with Persimian. But, he's now going to have to waste, he's now put in a really awkward position. He's got two choices. Either... He KOs my Persimian, in which case I've got teammates, I've got the KO, and he loses all his energy on the field, I'm fine with that. Or he doesn't. See, right now he's getting a KO with Turtonator, I don't care. I'm playing a non-GX deck. My Lele is only coming down for an emergency Lysander later on. So what's going to happen right now is my opponent's going to go and get a KO with Turtonator. I'm going to re rescue stretcher them back. I'm now going to get one of them back with Brooklet Hill. I'm going to teammates to get the other one back and a double colorless energy. And then I'm going to get a KO with Mew. I'm feeling pretty good about my position right now. Because the other thing is, it's not just about the prizes here. It's about board position. And my opponent's board position is really bad as soon as I do this. I'm going up two prizes. And now we're going to be even on prizes, except he's got a Volcanian about to be KO'd on the bench. So, is it worth playing that yet? Might be. For the time being, what we're going to do is we're going to play a teammate, because he took a KO the previous turn. Uh, we're going to grab Persimian, because I want Nest Ball in my deck for the future. And... We're going to grab a double colorless. Now, you'll notice we're playing Pokemon Catcher. In the future, Pokemon Catcher could be absolutely clutch. Now, we're going to save special charge for next turn. So that we've got two double colorless in the discard when we use it. And then we're going to play an Abyssal Hand. Oh, and we're going to draw a Float Stone. And I quite like the idea of having free retreat on my Octillery. Yay, I've got a cheer. Oh, yeah, I'm an affiliate now, so you can cheer. So get that cheering on, if you so wish. Now we team play for a huge amount of damage, 130. And then from the... What are we going to get? We're going to grab a Versus Seeker and a Trainer's Mail. Because, again, we might need to lay lay later. So we're really just grabbing consistency cards here. <laughs> Just lost to this deck. We don't call it the done button on this stream. We call it the dumb button. Because I end up clicking it when I'm not ready. Because I'm a little bit dumb. So, I've not been keeping track. Oh no, he got rid of my float stone. <laughs> you see, he got rid of the Brooklyn Hill there. Because he realised how much use Brooklyn Hill was for me. Yeah. 
Sorry about that. How are we doing in terms of followers? We need five more followers to hit a thousand. So anybody out there who is watching this but is not following yet, click that follow button. We are five away from a thousand. That is the first goal. We're not we're not content at a thousand. See, my opponent doesn't want to do this. My opponent is now Nitro Tank GXing. Brilliant. Which means. Now, if he puts three on one, I can... Yeah, this... I really don't care. Because what I'm going to do here is I'm now... Yeah, I mean... I'm going to hit this Turtonator and then I'm two GXs or two Lysanders away from winning the game. And at the moment, I'm only actually attacking with Mew as it stands. So I really don't care very much at all. Wurtzu TCG. Right, we need to be counting. Please count along with me. I'm going to forget. I'm pretty sure Dark Token won. I think we're now free away. So, what do we actually want? We really don't want very much at all here. What we don't want to do is use the Lysander now. What we really want to do is use the Lysander later. I'm going to be honest. All I really want here is a double colourless energy, but I don't want to play special charge yet. So all we're going to do is just play an N. Because we can always abyssal hand. We're really not worried about N because of Octillery. So we've got Nest Ball for next turn. I mean, to be honest, these are all next turn cards. Next turn, I feel really good about this particular hand. Um, yeah. This is, this is just looking good, quite frankly. I am completely comfortable with this. We are going to team play for 130 damage. And to be honest, all we need the next two turns is just two Lysander and we win the game. Persimian doesn't really one hit KO GX decks, but it doesn't need to. All Persimian needs to do is just kind of keep rolling. Because in this situation here, my opponent's got to take four KOs for the win. I've got to take two. And with my setup at the moment, especially having an artillery out, all I need to do, all I need is just double colorless and a Persimian every turn. But I don't actually need that. I need maybe one Persimian for the rest of the game. And to be honest, I don't even need that because my opponent's got like 60 damages. Yay! Cheers. I like cheers. Now, he's probably going to play an N here, but who cares? Oh, it's a Lysander. Is he going to KO my artillery? Because that would be a clever play. I don't think it's going to help him very much. But if he end, if he KO my artillery and then end, that would be a fun play. No, he's going after my energy. Why would you do that? Ah, I don't approve of this play at all. Because I don't really care. Ah. Oh. I, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, m maybe I whiff the energy. That's, an, that's a possibility. There is, no, wait. No, it's not a possibility. Because I don't even need a Lysander now. All right, we're going to put the Mew in the active just because it's got free retreat. I know if I attack with the Mew, it gets KO'd. So that's not something we're really looking to do. So right here, we are laughing. To be honest, we don't even really need a Persimian at this stage of the game. Um, no, I'm just going to waste that nest ball, to be perfectly honest. So, what do we want? Let's play a trainer's mail. I'd want like a rescue strip. Oh, we could double puzzle of time. Oh, I kind of want a double puzzle of time. What do we actually want? Yeah, because double puzzle of time will get me the energy as well. And that would be pretty sweet. So let's double Puzzle of Time. So let's play two Puzzle of Time. We're over 100, which is very nice. And we can grab a Persimian and we can grab an Energy, which is lovely. And to be perfectly honest here, what we're going to do now... Oh my goodness, we haven't even... We haven't even played our supporter for the turn. And we're not even going to. There's nothing we need. No. No, that's a lie. There are a few things we need. So. No. We've got all the energy we need. We've got all the Pokemon we need. All we need next turn is a Versus Seeker. 
and we win the game. So we're going to Abyssal Hand just in case. Because my opponent can either N or my opponent can Hex Maniac. So let's just do that. So team play for the KO. And of course, let's not forget Lysander. Woo! 1,000! Um, now, I need to go and actually see who was the final person that done that following. Wait for it, wait for it. We'll figure out who was the 1,000th follower. And at this stage, I've basically got the game sewn up, and we are laughing. So, by my calculation, we are on 1,007 followers. Oh, thank you very much. So, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Jesse 0905 I believe, was the 1,000th follower on Twitch. That makes me very happy indeed. So, my opponent here is going to use a steam up. They're going to get a KO with Power Heater. And then, I mean, to be perfectly honest, I can teammate for my second uh, Pokemon catcher if I want. But why would I bother? I'm just going to grab a Lysander and win the game. Oh, well, actually, no, that's a lie. I'm going to play a Pokemon catcher because that's a fly way to win. Again, he can end me, but I've got Octillery in play. So, I'm going to have a hand of five. And I don't have that many cards left in my deck. He could Hex Maniac me, but I've already got the game in deck. Sycamore is about the worst he could do. Yeah, he should have ended there. Because he's already got the KO. He doesn't need anything this turn. He's got the KO. He's got a backup attacker. You saw he didn't play any cards. Even though I've got Octillery, I've currently got a seven-card hand. I'm going to have an eight-card hand to start this turn. He should have ended me to what would essentially be a five-card hand. That would have been the better play there. Unfortunately, my opponent has just lost the game because we've got a Lysander. And this is why with Persimian, you can do fans. Come on. Ah, I know we didn't need it, but it would have been cool. We can versus Seeker for Lysander here. We also could have lele for Lysander. With Lele and versus Seeker in the format, you always want to try and keep one in the deck and one in the... um. Now, we could go for the fourth Persimian here, but it's a little bit little bit overkill. We don't need it. You always want, you know, if you want something like a Lysander, you want one in the discard, one in the deck, so you can either versus Seeker or you can Lysander. Sorry, or you can Lele. That's the absolute ideal there. So, usual rules. Now we've hit 100 watchers today. Let's ask the question we always ask, because it, it's my favourite question to ask on the stream. Whereabouts in the world are you and what time is it wherever you are? I think the tournament event might still be going. Let's go and have a little bit of a tournament. So, um, rotation. Let's, I like doing question and answer in the, in the chat. I don't do it often enough. Let's go. The one card you are going to miss more than any other when we hit the rotation. The one card you are really going to miss in rotation. Now, this might be Garbodor or Espeon. The thing is, here against Garbler, it's kind of funny because <laughs> you end up using so many items and you're weak. And Garbler hits for so much damage and it doesn't matter. Now, the one thing that does matter here, not starting Lele or Remoraid. That is so, so crucial. If this is against Garbador, the awesome thing about Garbador is if they go first, you can attack. Ah! No! Okay. We're okay. I thought we started only Remoraid then, and that would have been terrible. But it's all right. We've got Remoraid and we've got Mew, so we're fine. Because what we need here is the first KO. And that's why Persimian's so good against Garbodor. Because if you go first, they can't attack or evolve. Well, sorry, they can attack, but they can't evolve. So they don't have anything good turn one. But if they go first... You can attack turn one, so you generally get the first KO anyway, and then all you need to do at some point is get an EX KO. So we're feeling pretty good about this. And of course, S... No, why? Why? You can see I've got a Mew active. Really? If I get three Persimian on the bench, I'm getting a two-prize knockout. And we've seen I'm playing like four... Ne oh, for goodness sake. That's why you don't bench the Remoraid. I knew that could happen. 
I knew that could happen. I don't feel good about myself right now. Oh, it's not Garbled or it's just a general psychic deck. Yeah, we're going to destroy this with, um, with Mew. We're good. So, shouldn't have benched the Remoraid though. Although, to be fair, who plays Repel? Seriously. Like, nobody. Nobody plays Repel. Ooh, let's not go Choice Band yet. So, we don't have many particularly good options right now. So, what we're going to do is we are just going to grab... Oh, looks like it looks like we're going to lose the Remoraid, which sucks. It doesn't really matter. We can grab it back. But there's a very good chance we're going to lose the Remoraid, and that's kind of upsetting. But there's nothing we can do at the moment, so we're just going to click done. If my opponent's got a double colorless energy, he's got the KO. We are playing for Rescue Stretcher. Well, they obviously play Repel, yes. <laughs> Oh, he's got the Lysander as well! My goodness! This sucks! Terrible start. He had the Repel turn one, the Lysander turn two. He got the KO on the Mew, gets rid of my double colorless energy. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, this is rubbish! It's not the end of the world. We're going to be running through his EXs with Mews. But we need to get something going very quickly here. Okay, so... Good news, we can just rescue stretch of the Mew straight back, which is nice. We can then play the Choice Band down. And then we can play a Versus Seeker, grab back the N, and hopefully draw into a way to get either draw into an Ultra Ball or an Octillery, and then we can start rolling. There's the Ultra Ball, so we're good. It's not the worst start ever right now. It's not great. Um, but it's not a terrible, terrible start here. So what we can do is go and grab the Octillery, which is nice. Can we even play Rescue Stretcher right now? We can't. So we are going to have to Abyssal Hand for free. I don't really know what even what we're searching for here. Okay, Nest Ball is good. Because we can go and grab a Persimian, pop it straight on the bench. That's nice. Pokemon Catcher, this is a big flip. Because my opponent's got the KO on that Persimian this turn because I'm weak to Psychic. Okay. This is bad right now, but it should, it should start evening out very quickly. Because what's going to happen is my opponent's going to KO either the Persimian or the Mew. Hopefully the Persimian. I can... Okay, there we're good. I can then rescue... Unless he's got a Pokemon catcher and hits a head. Which... Oh, no, we're good. So, right now... So, he's going to KO the Persimian. That's fine. I can then rescue stretch the Persimian back. Yeah, but he can't play the Lysander. So, that's all right. He's already played a Skylar. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. I mean, you've got to hand it to my opponent. He is playing this game well. <laughs> oh, what a play. What a play. Oh, I feel like we should get some cheers going for him right now. <laughs> That was so good. Now, it is just a troll deck. Now, there really is no point putting the energy on the active right now. What we're looking for, um, yeah, that's Abyssal Hand for free. We need a way to get out the active. So, let's play a Brooklet Hill. Then we can grab ourselves a Persimian. Oh, we've even got a Persimian prized. Let's bench a Mew. Because he's used a Vide, he can't use it again. And then we're going to end him to four and us to six. And honestly here, what would be awesome is if we could grab either Floatstone Field Blower or Escape Rope. 
Okay. So. My opponent is going to go up by three prizes. But that's okay. We should... That should still give us the win. Now, here's the key. We've got two Mew. So we are going to have a Mew active next turn. Which means we are... <laughs> oh my goodness ah, and we know we know he's going to Lysander the Mew with the energy we know he's going to do it we know he's uh, oh I know I end him but he's definitely going to try and Lysander here so we've got to get rid of those two. <laughs> this guy is mean, but it's not a huge problem. Oh. That was a bad play. I'll take it. Wait, does he even know I've got teammates in hand right now? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a rescue stretcher the old-fashioned way. And we're going to get all of our Pokemon back. Now, I would love a Brooklet Hill right now. But we can't have one. So, there's no point crying about it. We can't even get the KO here. But you know what? We can get pretty close. So, we can retreat to this Mew. And then we can do a lot of damage. Now, the good news is we should be getting one-hit KOs on all of his Pokemon, except for that Parallel... I mean, that Parallel City is brutal, to be perfectly honest. So, he's going to get the KO here. That's not a huge problem. We can then get the KO back with our Mew, and now we can Team Maze. And it should... We should be okay here still. We're not in terrible territory yet. So, what we're going to do for our teammates is... We want Brooklet Hill. Please don't be prized. Okay, Brooklet Hill is prized. So, we're going to have to town map. Because we're desperate for that right now. And, to be honest, we quite want a Persimium. We want a Remoraid as well. But we can't afford to get the Remoraid... Oh, that we could really do with some energy. We got no... Yeah, we got no more energy left in deck. So we're going to have to go special charge here as well. Not the end of the world. So let's special charge back. Those two. Then we can town map. So we can choose our prizes next turn. Yeah, we can grab Brooklet Hill and a Persimium, which is pretty sweet. We might as well bench a Mew for the second, because we're going to have Brooklet Hill next turn. Then we can go KO with team play. We should just still be able to prize race him, but it's going to be a little bit dodgy. So we're down to four. I couldn't have grabbed a Brooklet Hill. One's in the discard, one's in the prizes. I mean, Brooklet Hill was gone. Oh, I could have double puzzled. No. As even as much fun as double puzzle was, I needed energy. I couldn't afford to um I I just I couldn't afford to not grab the special charge here. So we should be getting a KO now with Persimian, which is nice. Assuming we've got an energy, which we will, because we've got teammates. Now we're gonna go down to two prizes. The opponent's gonna go down to one. We'll still win the game. It's just an awful lot closer than I thought it probably should have been. So, we can Brooklet Hill here for a Persimian. We could actually have got a Remoraid here, but we need the Persimian too much. We can now play a teammate, and now this is where Double Puzzle comes in. Because now we grab one Puzzle, because we've got one in hand. And we grab an Energy for the active Persimian. Now, there is an argument here to not even play the Puzzle of Times now. 
No, I tell you what we are. We are going to play the double puzzle now. Because once again, we just really want energy. So, let's double puzzle of time here. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab... No, he's... Mm, we're going to grab a catcher just in... No, we don't need a catcher. We don't need a catcher. We're going to grab special charge again. And... What do we want? Tell you what we're going to grab. We're going to grab a teammate's. So that we've got everything we need for next turn. Because we've got a Lysander in a discard. We can always Versus Seeker for it. So, there's my special charge. Now, the other reason I grabbed the teammates was my opponent may well end me. So, I wanted a teammate that I could draw into off of that. So, let's go. Team play for the knockout. Lots and lots and lots of damage. And we'll grab a Catcher and a Lysander. Because we need basically that and energy next turn. <laughs> um, okay, so we're feeling pretty good about ourselves now. It's now two prizes each, but my opponent's got loads of EXs. Now, I suppose what my opponent could do here is get the KO on a Mew. Well, who cares? He should be KOing. Wait, has my opponent not got the KO? <laughs> I mean, that's that's fine. I mean, I don't know why you really played the Enhanced Hammer here. So, there goes the Mew, and we are absolutely rolling here, because all we need to do is use Brooklet Hill. Oh, <laughs> forgot to do it back. Doesn't matter. So, what we need here is an Energy, and preferably a Persimian as well. So, let's go. Go rescue stretcher to get the Persimian. Let's grab a double colorless energy for the Mew. And we should be in a pretty good position at this stage. So rescue stretcher grabs back Persimian, which is lovely. I mean, this, this, I mean, if, if you've got newer players to the game, this is kind of a, a textbook time to really show people how why weakness and resistance are so important in the Pokemon trading card game. Because if it wasn't for weakness, I mean, the start we had to the game, we had a slow start. My opponent had the Repel. They had the Lysander. They had that amazing Divide GX, which, come on, that was an awesome play on their part. But that was fine because it worked. Has anyone noticed? First game today, we started with a Persimian. <laughs> Uh, alrighty then, are we going first or second? I, I want to say we lost the coin flip. Oh, sweet! We're getting the first KO. We only... Oh, that sucks. Wait, is this a mirror match? Hmm. Huh. What I might do here... Oh, if it's a mirror match and he's playing Shaman. Ha! I've won this game. <laughs> Okay, so, what we're probably going to do... Okay, can we get the KO? What are we actually wanting to do here? So, we're going to play a Nest Ball. Now, Mew's currently got 90 HP, which means we're going to need lots of Persimian to get the KO. But let's do it anyway. Now, I could, I could have gone from Mew, but then I've got to play an Escape Rep, and then his Shaman's in the active. But you know what? If his Shaman's in the active, I can I get a KO? In theory, I'd be doing... You know what? It's a huge long shot. But if I can hit two Persimian and a double colorless energy, assuming none of my Persimian are prize, I'm going up two prizes. If none of my Persimian are prized, I'm going up two prizes. Oh, please don't be priced. Please don't be priced. Please don't be priced. Please don't be priced. Yeah! I'm pretty sure we got the KO on a shame in turn one. <laughs> Ooh, here's an awkward thing. Do I play trainers? No. No, no, no. Trainers Mare would be a stupid idea. We've got to go Ultra Ball here. Grab the Persimian. This is going to leave us with a fairly jank hand. But we've got a double colorless energy to get a KO on that Mew. So we're feeling pretty good, to be perfectly honest. So, 
Let's go team play for 110, assuming we haven't miscalculated, which we haven't, and then hope we draw into something good. Choice band and puzzle of time. Right, that sucks. We might actually have to play single puzzle of time, because as it stands at the moment, if he gets a KO, and he hasn't got enough for the KO yet, but if he gets a KO, we haven't actually got we haven't actually got the KO here. Um, it's a Lele. Okay, we can live with that. What's he going to do? 24 okay. No, it's not going to get a KO here. Energy Drive is only going to do 80. Because remember, Tapu Lele's attack does not hit for weakness or resistance. So even when Mew copies the attack, it won't. I forgot about Fighting Fury Bout. Ho, ho, ho! Never punished! <laughs> Never punished! Nice. We've got to lose the single puzzle of time, which kind of sucks. But we top-decked into a Sycamore. That was sweet. So, we might as well rescue Stretcher the Mew back right now. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're then going to fill up our bench. We're going to go grab a Remoraid, which would be pretty nice. 30, 60, 90, so we're hitting 100, so we don't need the Field Blower. We definitely don't need Lele, but we've got to get rid of the Field Blower. We can't afford to get rid of anything else. So let's go get a Remoraid, and then next turn, hopefully, we can get Octillery. And we've got another Persimian with energy ready to go. we got a Mew ready to go with energy. We're up three prizes. We should be getting an Octillery next turn. I mean, quite frankly, I think we are storming this game, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, come on. Turn one KO on a Shaman. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the top deck for Sycamore, let's be honest about it. That was luck. Nothing other than luck. But I'm okay with that. Oh. Bad news. Can't get a KO on Lele here. Could get a KO on the Mewtwo. If we had a Lysander. But we really don't need to here. Ooh, is it taking the 30, 60, 90, 120, 130, 160? <gasps> oh, we don't have a Kakui. Oh, if, if we had a Kakui, we could get the KO. We don't have a Kakui. Um, I tell you what, let's go aggressive. What we're going to do here is we're just going to go Lysander. Not Lysander, sorry. We're going to go Sycamore. Because we don't need, we already got rid of one puzzle of time, two will do. What I really want is to be set up for future turns. I wanted the Brooklet Hill, which I got. I wanted the, that, which I got. I wanted that, which I got. What I didn't get was an Octillery, was what I really wanted. But you can't have them all. Can I afford to give up an energy? Yes, I can. So we're going to retreat here. Because, oh, although... No, we got the rescue stretcher. We're going to let him... No, no, we are going to retreat. I don't want to feed my opponent a prize, to be perfectly honest. So, we're going to put this Persimian up. And my opponent shouldn't be able to get a prize here. Unless they've got a double colorless energy and a fighting fury belt, which would then do 110. So, it, yeah. So, it looks like my opponent... And that doesn't really matter to me. I've still got the KO next turn. <laughs> yeah so now we got the ko now we're rocking and rolling we don't even need the rescue stretcher we oh i'm just thinking through can i afford to play a sycamore here and you know what? I can. I don't need any of those cards, and I'm not going to deck out. I want the Octillery, and I want an Energy. I want to keep up with my Energy attachments here. So, there's that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get anything else. So, let's just get the KO with Team Play. I didn't actually look how much damage that did. Uh, so I want energy and puzzle of time is good because then I can double puzzle next turn. My opponent gives up. We get the win. And now we can see a drop in viewers while we wait for the next round. No! Ne oh, I was hoping the next round was going to be ready to go. Okay, Trash Valanche for 920. But he's still got to take two more prizes. I'm ahead. So as long as I've got an energy next turn, I'm happy. 
So there's my energy. Now. Oh, I want to venture Tapu Lele so hard for a Lysander. But I can't. That would be a very silly thing to do. Because then my opponent wins with a Lysander. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, sweet! Now, the next question is, how are we doing for energy? We've only got one left in the deck. And there is a possibility that this next turn turns into an ability one. So... No, but we need, we need to keep the Lele because it could turn into something next turn. So, let's just play the end here. Because like, there's nothing I really want. So, we'll go down to two. The chances here of him being able... Yeah. I mean, we're, we're in a great, great position here. It's not a guaranteed win yet. There is the possibility here that my opponent has... I mean, if he's got Garbador, Tool, Espeon, and then he gets a Garbador out and carries me with an Espeon, then I'll need to get the energy. But then he'd need to end me as well here, and I, I don't think he's got enough to end me here. So. Ooh! Oh, nice! I'm pretty sure it's not going to win him the game. But having said that, I'm not, I'm not drawing my whole deck next turn. So if he's got a tool here, I'm out of Puzzle of Time. I've used my Field Blower. So if my opponent's got a Float Stone here and an Energy, because again, he's not got the KO. He's got to get the KO and turn off the ability. Because the other thing is, if he turns off Mew's ability, I can't attack with Mew. Ugh. What's that doing? He can't retreat. Now, I can't attack with Mew at this stage. So, what I need badly is an energy. With an energy, I win the game because he's got 100 HP. And I'm not... Oh, my goodness. I'm not doing 100 here. It doesn't really matter. So, I can't KO with Mew. Oh my goodness, right. So, let's use a trainer's mail. See what we can get. Let's grab a versus seeker. Oh! Uh, now what? I selected it! Ah, oh, I was talking. Yeah, I was going to lie sand to the Eevee, but I didn't have any energy. I needed to get some energy. What a rubbish thing! I selected it! Oh, my, I mean, I know I was quite slow on that one, but I was trying to explain my thought process while I was going. That, that is weak source, ladies and gentlemen. That is weak. Not impressed. Doesn't really matter. I mean, if it's an event tickets, I don't really care. They, were, they weren't prizes I really wanted. <laughs> it's just a little bit upsetting because that is the first tournament I've not won. Since we've started doing the streaming. But it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Persimian. I hope you enjoyed yourself. But, of course, next time you could get involved on the stream, twitch.tv slash ptcgradio, and then you wouldn't have to worry about watching this video later. Although, obviously, I suggest you still do. Make sure you say anything you need to or even want to in the comments. Go nuts. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wolsey for announcements of future live streams. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio to watch future live streams. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. There's bonus pods. Yay! Most important thing as always, look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.